Hey guys, uh, here's the deck review for the Theory 11 Sentinels. This is arguably the best deck that Theory 11 has put out so far. Just a very well designed, well thought out deck. You can definitely tell that they put a, a lot of work into this. So uh, here's the box. Usually I don't pay much attention to the boxes, but in this case, uh, this is actually a box that's worth talking about. They, uh, they really did a good job on it. Uh, the first thing is the, the ink, the silver ink, it's um, metallic, so it has that shimmer, uh, that, that shine to it. And also it's embossed, so it's uh, some of the uh, text, it's, it's bumpy, right? There's some texture to the box. And then the paper that they use, it's not that glossy paper that you're used to seeing on the standard decks. It's, um, it's more rough, I guess. Just a, a really cool paper stock that they use. And uh, there's a lot of detail in the box design. Uh, especially like if you open up the flap, you'll see some images here. And then even on the inside flap, they really just did a very good job on designing the box. It looks very good in my in my deck collection. It's eye candy. So uh, let's let's talk about the cards. The first one is just your Theory 11 ad card. Um, double backer right here as usual. And then here are the jokers. Really cool jokers. Um, some of the coolest jokers I've ever seen actually. Just very clean, very professional. Uh, classy looking jokers. A little jester. Um, He's holding on to a little guitar or ukulele, I don't know what that's supposed to be. And um, slightly different color schemes on, on each joker, but uh, really cool joker. And then here's the back design. So, uh, a lot of images that are somewhat cryptic, you know, we're not really sure what, what's, what, what they're supposed to represent. Uh, you know, you have the pyramids, a lot of this imagery, uh, you might look familiar from the US currency and um, you know you have a little 11 for a theory 11 there you got some swords on the sides uh, you kinda just have to take a look at it yourself a lot of different things to look at there uh, very good back design my only complaint is that they use black you know I'm kinda sick of these black decks I I wish they uh, made this back design in a blue or red or maybe even something crazy like a green or a... Actually, I think like an off-white, almost orange would have looked great on this, but... Yeah, I don't know. A lot of the decks being put out these days are, are black for some reason. Maybe it's cheaper produce th to produce them. I, I really don't know, but I, uh, I get turned off a little bit every time I see a, a black and white deck. So, um... I don't know, I kind of hope that they release this back design again with uh, with some color. I think that would be great. But other than that, other than the, the color elements, great back design. Now the faces are also somewhat special. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that the, the pips, the indexes, they're smaller than your standard card. Right? I like that. Makes, uh, you know, it makes fans look a little bit better because you see more of the numbers on each. And... Court cards, very cool. Very cool what they did with the court cards. They uh, completely redid the, the standard design from your from your typical bicycle deck. Um, let me pull out a few of them, actually. So it, it's just a whole different pattern, um, a different layout, kind of. There's no inside borders. It just looks a lot better, I think. And then there's also a lot of... Um, extra images going on on each of these court cards. For example, on the Jack of Spades you have a little bird on the shoulder. Um, you know, you got like a wine glass there. You got, uh, what are those called? Cylinder? Over there. Not a cylinder. What are those things called? I haven't taken chemistry in a long time. Uh, beaker. That's the word I was thinking of. And just a lot of detail on every one of these court cards. I really like it a lot. Let me talk about the Ace of Spades real quick. Again, just a really smooth, uh, classy looking Ace of Spades. Not too busy. This this deck is full of class, let's put it that way. A lot of great things going on here. Uh, in terms of handling, it's great. Uh, they say that 
Uh, it was made on the Casino web press, which isn't standard at all. Not very many decks are, are made on that press. The stock is, you know, just about right. I mean, I've been using this deck quite a lot over the past mm, week and a half, two weeks maybe, and it's still holding up great. It's spread nicely. Um, it did take a little bit of breaking in, but uh, I have a feeling that this is a deck that's going to last me a very long time before I have to replace it. It, it. it just holds up very well. So quality, very good. Um, better than your, your standard bicycle deck, that's for sure. Not that much better, but you know. Definitely a, a noticeable difference, let's put it that way. And then in terms of design, big thumbs up. Only complaint is the color. I, I, I don't want to see any more of these <laughs> black and white decks. But uh, that's the Theory 11 Sentinels for you. I hope you uh, like this deck, or this deck review at least. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.